What's going on, everybody? Happy, happy Thursday. It's been a short week, but a long week. But the weekend's almost here. And I am standing in front of our Montanas, and I want to show you something cool. This is the 3763 BP. The BP stands for Butler Pantry, or Butler's Pantry. Now, you guys will recall, I just completely spaced the model number. But... Tuesday, I showed you a very similar floor plan with a half bath right off the kitchen. And I talked in the video about how it's controversial. Some people like it, some people hate it. Uh, some people set rules like no number two, why we're cooking, that whole thing. This is, oh, let me go back. A lot of people said that would have been better as a pantry or a closet, so on and so forth. Here's the answer to that for you guys. So. You do have two slides on the campsite here, as you can see, and it's really hard to see because we've got quite a few Montanas, but you have a huge awning that's going to come out, come over that camp slide, so you're not going to have to worry about shade when you're in this bad boy. Beautiful paint job, of course. I love, love, love the new blue strip they've put on this. You have not one, not two, but three slides on the other side. You've got a massive amount of pass-through storage. If I can open this while holding the camera, let's see. Massive amount of pass-through storage, okay? Right here, control central. You can literally do everything you need to right here. Great thing, you can winterize, you can bypass your water heater, all that, and it's pretty cool. This little guy comes out, so all of your hoses and stuff come up here. So you can close this off and everything looks nice. I'll take you around the back where you have even more storage. Again, let's see if I can do this without making you guys sick. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. So as you can see, a ton of storage in this unit and you do have lights under here so you can see what you're doing. Okay. That's just more access to that storage as well as that right there is access to that storage. Ladder, so you have a fully walkable roof. You do have backup camera prep. All you gotta do is buy the camera, slap it in there, and you're good to go. Again, more access to that storage. We've got our solid steps, which I talk about all the time, I love. Don't think I'd wanna live without them anymore. I'm gonna start up here in the front, which is gonna be the living room, okay? Fantastic living room, feels like home. You have sleeper sofas on either side. Directly in front of me is your entertainment area with your fireplace. Behind that black, you've got your CD, DVD, Blu-ray. you got a TV that... So you can enjoy the beautiful scenery or you can watch some TV. Directly across from that is your theater seating recliners, which are awesome. This does have the quiet, cool air conditioning. So you can set in here on a hot summer day. You're going to hear the TV just fine. You're going to hear your friends and family just fine. I said in a video the other day, I could see putting a nice cozy rug right here, fireplace going. For those of you that haven't watched my videos, I talk about it all the time. The fireplaces are very cool. They run off electric. You can either have them on just for the light or you can actually turn them on and produce some really killer heat out of it. You can warm this whole area up, including the kitchen and stuff, very easily. And you're not using your propane cool thing Montana does you actually have two shades here so you have like a sunscreen shade you can still see out people can't see in but then you also have these blackout shades so you can completely get privacy or cut down any heat that you're getting from the sun coming down into the kitchen area okay you're gonna see that we have our breakfast nook area I guess that's what you want to call it. You also have an area to put a TV here if you want, so you can have TV in the kitchen. You have storage below as well as storage here to the side. You have a residential sized refrigerator, stainless steel. You've got a stainless steel three burner stove, a stainless steel microwave, again, more storage. This nice sized kitchen island here, which is great. And you do have a little thing here to pop up to give you even more space. You're gonna have like a, like an 80-20 sink, stainless steel, okay? And again, more storage below. And here is what I was talking about, the BP, the Butler's Pantry. 
Um, on that other model I was showing you, this was a half bath. This is actually a pantry. Check this out. She got a place to sit. I don't know. Maybe you want to hide the margarita mixer in here. That way not everybody's drinking your margarita mix. I don't know. Storage below. Storage above. And then you've got a whole bank of cabinets over here. So pretty cool design. And get this going here. Check it out. Love the barn door style stuff. Coming so popular. Okay, moving on. Over here to the side, we have our breakfast nook, our chill area, relax area, whatever you want to call it. Lots of windows there to look out of. And then we come up to the master bedroom where we're going to have a king bed with storage underneath. You're going to have a nice big closet over here that is washer dryer prep for a stackable washer and dryer. Or you could just put a washer in there, put a clothesline out, whatever you want. Do you have some in night stands on each side and you do have regular charging ports as well as usb charging ports directly across from the bed we've got more drawers as well as some cabinets and you've got a tv in here in the bedroom so you can come back here relax get away from everybody watch tv in the evening and the awesome bathroom toilet of course kind of necessary for a bathroom bank of drawers got a little cabinet here which is actually pretty deep to keep all your linens and stuff in You've got your dual medicine cabinets, your dual sinks, and your dual storage below. So I always say, split that bad boy down the middle. You got his, hers, no arguments, no fuss, no nothing. Ladies, you don't have to worry about his hair in the sink, even though it's still going to be there and annoy you. We'll pretend like this solves all bathroom fights, okay? You've got a nice big shower over here. It's a sit-down shower, which are my favorite. Just sit down there, chill, relax at the end of the day. Uh, after a whole day of relaxing outside camping. Ladies, that's also great for shaving your legs. So there you have it. Let me know what you think about this. So now you've seen it with a half bath here and also with a butler pantry here. Which do you prefer? Do you like the half bath, which is going to cut down on your foot traffic? If I can get this lash back up. We're not level here, apparently. Do you like the half bath here, which cuts down on your foot traffic for having to go to the restroom? People don't have to go back to your master bath. Or do you like the nice big pantry here, which is going to give you more food storage options? Leave a comment down below.